2008, there's a look at Lucas Oil Stadium here in downtown Indy. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. Ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the New England Patriots. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway from Indianapolis. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Let's do it. Oh shit, this fucking nigga got Zeke. What the fuck? Oh shit, but I'm thinking I'm about to stop. Damian Harris, what the fuck? Bro, I got Zeke. Good fucking hit. Oh no, Isaiah, hell no. Thank you. What the fuck? Nelson Aglor, hell no. Hell no, not no fucking Nelson Aglor. Hey, that shit up, matter. We're still on blitz. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. He's going to try and go. Let's go. Thank you, because I was like, why the fuck did they let me go for the pick, bro? The, the fuck? Damn, miles on this side. Bro, good shit. Fuck. Down another run with Taylor. And he'll take this inside. That's bad run still, Josh. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him. That's bad run still. They go play action now. Jackson. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And stopped a few yards away the goal line at the three. Did you see that route the way that I did? Let's go. Let's get it. Right 
but Pat's at the line, ready to go. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused, all of it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Well, let me get that. I've got confidence. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And a great return here gets us all the way down to the 26-yard line. What a start defensively. I mean, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Good D. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. I don't know what's up, Marcus Alon. Them boys really ain't been blocking shit. Uh, damn, come on, nigga. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. This time, Jackson will throw it. Oh, shit. Let's go. That's me, bitch. That was a terrible read. That's a pick six, bitch. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. I know bro better than a bitch. That's a pick. Position, a real threat. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Taylor. And they work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all set. Come on. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Taylor. And power running here down to the six yard line. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader. And quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing. And let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real. And it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. And he gets him a little bit closer and takes it from the six inside the five to the four. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he takes this one for a close touchdown. Jonathan Taylor with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes with the third most in a single year. And the Colts are up to a 13 nothing first quarter lead. Here comes Nelson. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Yo. Bro, what? Bro, just, bro about to come out and go line? This is the craziest the shit I ever the seen. The first drive they threw the interception that led to a touchdown. So decent sized deficit early on. It is. I think you hit the key. No way! Thank you, God, bro. This game is ass. This nigga just came out of goal lines, bro. What the fuck? He's got the afternoon off to a great start. This nigga really just got out of that. That's crazy. That's crazy. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Oh shit. That's Dito. Let's go. Let's go. Good D. Good D. 
Damn. That boy try some shit. Damn. Goal line. start their next drive and you figure this should be a healthy arrested a focused unit and they're working on a good winning streak they had the week off last week this is really a team charge that should be in top four i would agree absolutely with that what coaches worry about what organizations worry about though is overconfidence they've been playing so well and now they've had that extra time off and we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat so what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense they may blitz more in the beginning to get them going on offense they may go more up tempo anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play that time and it sets up second and goal again it'll be taylor Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less. Wasn't that a fucking touchdown? Spray the game, fucking ass, bro. He's met in the backfield and goes backwards, losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. That's me. This game's some shit for that. Rodrigo Blankenship for the Colts field goal. I'm going to need three possessions. Got the Colts, man. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is that the kicker you can depend upon. He goes in and missed all the year. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Eight. 
this defense could use a few more plays like that right now. They certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just cannot find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion. And now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. Bro, this fuck nigga Taylor can't get in to save his life, bro. God damn. Gotta be a pit. A big play there for the Patriots. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Jones now. Jump! We gotta jump for that, man. Oh, we gotta jump for that shit right now. That's the Zeke shit down, dude. Let's go. We good. That's D. That's D. Pick. Oh! Oh, that's a pick, man. Nothing, bro. You don't got escape artists. You fucking dead. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The offense stays put. They failed twice already in this first half, but they're going to go a third time here on fourth down. From the gun, Jones. Come here, man! Let's fucking go! The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Colts are going to 
take over with a football. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. Get out, JT! You gotta push it. Get out! Fucking go, man! Y'all see this fucking massacre, man? I got the fucking coach, bro. Come on, man. Extra point by Blankenship. It's up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. Oh, let me get that. Oh. Come on. Come on. We got to pit that. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you got to make sure you nurse him through it. Say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if you're in the same spot again. Fuck. What the decision is here if they get to the. There it goes left side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Kendrick Bourne, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is down to 24. Patriots 7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. start their next drive and with a little under a minute to go still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead should they so choose and this will be swung out wide for taylor and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27 they'll break the huddle come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled the colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. First and Jackson, They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Looking here for Smith downfield. Oh, I ain't going to lie, this game would have been fake as fuck to let me catch that. Second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on four. Try to punch it in with Taylor. Oh, shit! Come on! You got to get out! Oh, you got to get out right now. Oh, you got to get out.
Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38-yard line, second and nine. Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. From the gun, Jackson. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. <laughs> And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. They go play action here on first down. This is incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. On second and ten, Jones. You do that? The man is born. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I did not expect you to do that. more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Jones. Good though. I man that up. Why the fuck would I follow that? I was about to say. No way! Bruh, ain't no fucking way! These niggas crazy! The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe it'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. Now Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. 
So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And taken right on the 30. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Patriots take over. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Throwing Jones. He'll get this to Elliott. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Here's Jones to throw on third down. Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked off at the 45. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now we give to Taylor. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Taylor. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Wow. He will move his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four yard line. They'll try and run, Taylor, and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up the fourth down. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. Blankenship's kick is good. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. They were coming off. 
off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And they run with Harris off the option. And Harris is not going to get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. expected they're going for it and it'll be brought down by the Colts the Patriots come up empty on fourth down and now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20 yard line on first down Taylor and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line it was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first. He don't want to hit no threes, ain't it? Jackson for the shotgun. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Hey, a lot, boy, you're trying to get out the phone for the longest, dude. situation here on fourth and a yard. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Taylor. And he'll go backwards. Losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, if this defense has any hopes of getting back into this game, they've got to start right here and keep these guys out of the end zone. That's a good step one on that play. Toward the pylon caught, and he's in for the score, and his spectacular season continues as he ties the NFL touchdown record. He is phenomenal. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. Here comes Nelson. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off play action. Jones. His throw incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? New England on third down. A pretty woeful for five thus 
This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. And Nelson's got it here right side. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Let's it go for Nelson. And that is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Play action. Now Jackson. He'll check this one down to Taylor. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So the completion results there in nine huh? yards. And that'll make it second and short. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. To throw again on second down. Jackson. They'll find his man. That's Taylor again. And the Colts are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. And the touchdown record is now all theirs. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that will extend this big lead. Set to go. 
And it would appear that the open week a week ago came just at the right time as they have dominated the proceedings here into this fourth quarter. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The lines move there. Look like nobody open. Now second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Uh. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Indianapolis, they continue to roll as the win gets them to 12-2 and two on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for New England, they'll drop to 10-4 and four on the year. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta play. I gotta play net in the league, but I play for fifty, bro. Yeah, yeah. I already know it. Whenever you're ready, bro. No, this this the money league, man. Shit. 
shit. I don't, I don't even know these niggas. Nick, Nick, where you at? I think Nick, where you, where Nick at? He supposed to be playing the nigga. I want to watch that game. Damn, that's one wishy washy ass nigga, bro. Uh, bro, he be coming down, popping threes and shit. I did not know Giannis was playing. If I knew that fuck nigga was playing, I definitely would have bet on him. Damn, Jokic got 15 already? Damn, he would have covered for me, bro. Bro, this fuck nigga. Oh, my God. I don't know why I bet on Draymond. Yo, bro. The nigga... I only bet him for four boards, bro. Just yeah, no, I did assists and rebounds. The nigga had seven assists, and all he needed was four. Then I needed him to get four boards. The nigga had three. Tell me why the nigga had three boards in the first quarter. Bitch, I go back to it's a minute left in the fucking fourth quarter. This fuck nigga still got three boards. It was that fuck nigga Otto Porter though. That nigga had sixteen boards. And you know that nigga play that nigga play small four. Nigga had sixteen of them bitches. Well, let me clean up. How much you put him for? How oh oh how much you got right now? <laughs> that nigga. Bro, by second quarter, that nigga be having 11, bro. And it's the Clippers, bro. Like, why is he not mutting the Clippers right now? Bro. I, oh, God, bro. You, you know what I do, bro? I look at the games. I look at their last five games. I be like, oh yeah, this nigga definitely gonna go to school. Uh, fourteen, bro. Why this nigga have eight, bro? Nigga played thirty-two minutes and had, bro. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say, bitch. If I make it to the NBA, bro, I am giving a nigga a bucket, bro. I'm scoring ten, bro. Bro, he's so wishy-washy too, bro. No, you know what I realized about Eric Gordon though? If if Boogie playing good, Aaron Gordon not gonna play good, bro. Aaron Gordon only hoop when Boogie play bad or be in foul trouble, bro. Like that nigga pissed me off with that shit. I I was like, I'm like, damn this Aaron Gordon. I know Aaron Gordon can get full five boards. This nigga be having two and shit. Bro. Oh, God, I swear to God, he had me hot, bro. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Bro, you know where, bro? I'm like, this fuck nigga jump high as hell, bro. I know this man could get him by four, four, five boards. Bro. Nigga played 37 minutes. I know, bro. You know, I ain't gonna lie for one, it, for like a week, that shit was at 31. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what's. They be having Giannis Boris higher than a bitch now. I know. What? You know what? You know who be. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga Bobby Porter be taking them bitches, though. Like, cause Bobby Porter, that nigga be shooting some bullshit, and he always get his fucking rebound. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like,
That's how it worked, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. I had bet on that nigga points. He barely had. He had 10. Next game, that nigga hit eight threes. I was like, yep. Yep. <laughs> that nigga was smacking them bitches. No, nah, you know, I know. that's how I know the NBA rig. They said, Sabonis, take Sabonis under. They had the nigga, at, bro, I'm like, this nigga is not going to get no 16 rebounds. Why this nigga had, Trey, why this nigga had 14 boards in the start of the second quarter? I was like, yep, you got it. Bro, the nigga Trey Lyles averaged like not, bro, Trey Lyles wasn't, it was like the man was just sitting there letting him take him. I was like, yep, you got it. Bro, cause Robert Williams, he is weird as fuck, bro. He's weird as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro, oh god, you know who be snagging? though? you got a bet on Valanciunas. Valanciunas. On the Pelicans? That, no, he on, he on the Pelicans. But that nigga had 10 boards in the first quarter, boy. Yeah. He played with uh, CJ McCollum. Bruh. The Nick. The... For a minute. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. He been there for a minute. Bro, this nigga. Had, bro, you gotta take CJ over 20 and Valentunas over 10 boards every time. Bruh. That shit, that's the only thing that be bringing me in money, bro. He is, I ain't gonna lie, he, he like six for six for me right now, though. I'll, like, I be betting on his threes and, his, uh, tw and that he scored 20. If that bitch say 24-25, I'm taking under. Fuck that. He was going nuts, boy. He be going nuts, boy. You know who good, too? Bro, this nigga Tyler Hero averaged 21 off the bench. That is crazy. Jordan Poole be hooping. Nah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie though. But when I let me say this. Yeah, when Jordan Poole. Yeah, he does. But I ain't gonna lie to you though. When Curry, I bro, Jordan Poole give me the 30, bro. But you gotta remember though, Tyler Hero don't take that many shots and he still be having 20. That nigga Jordan Poole shoot about 16 to 20 times a game. That nigga was 6 for 15 from the 3. I was like, what the fuck? I was happy he hit them bitches though, because I bet on his threes, but damn. Who? Cool. Yeah, bro. I'm bro. When him, I don't, they be putting him on a court with fucking Aaron, bro. What time is it? Game time. What time is it? Game time. Bro, I don't know. You know what's crazy? That nigga didn't play one bad game for y'all, and he made our defense worse. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't have Boogie and Bobby Portis though, cause Bobby Portis do the same shit Boogie do, but and he shoot better. That nigga be snagging. He <laughs> do I go like that boy be chucking the bitches for three. I forgot he could shoot. They had that nigga threes at four. I was like, what the fuck? That nigga, I'm like, damn! I ain't gonna lie. 
Cause, bro, it was like what possession? That nigga shot four threes straight, bro. Cause, that, cause Bobby Portis had got two offensive rebounds, and then he had got a back tap one out. I was like, damn, this nigga missing these hoes. That boy definitely will shoot them bitches. And I don't know what, bro. Grace and Allen score y'all first six to eight points every game, bro. He asked. He fucking sold me, bro. I didn't have 15 when I didn't even score 20 for my ticket to hit. Damn. Who the fuck was that? Bro! That shit had me hot. Cat covered, Anthony Edwards covered, D'Angelo Russell covered, Drew Holiday covered, Portis covered. All I need this nigga was to score five points. Trey, the nigga had five points in the third quarter. Them niggas bitch the Them niggas didn't play the fourth quarter, bro. Then when I was like, oh, they put Pat Connaughton in, I was like, oh, yeah, it's over with. Y'all should have kept PJ. Yeah. Oh, he! Just, oh, I thought he! I thought I thought they didn't want to pay him no more. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, he he 